Welcome to the Altona Cottage. Jack, are you going to say hello? Well, I've been trimming along this path today and I'm just going to take all the bits and move them over to the compost. So I've started a new compost tape. So everything goes in there. Weeds and everything. Everything is composted, including unwelcome visitors, who I very rarely have those unwelcome visitors. Now some of these clippings, what I do is, I put them onto pathways, you know, it's a kind of a chop and drop thing, and um, it's like a living mulch, or a green mulch rather, so it breaks down over time and helps to create a woodland path, that's a path where grass doesn't grow, yeah. I was reading a comment uh, a few weeks ago from someone and he said, oh yeah, I'd really love to see you work. I thought, hmm, that's a bit odd. <laughs> it's okay, I get what you mean. I just thought, you know, the way I read it, oh, it was as though like, I don't do any work, someone else does the work. And I'd like to see me do the work. So I've learned a little bit about editing and this means that I don't have to go and get another camera because I was talking on Facebook yesterday and just saying that this particular camera that I have which is, and I haven't got my glasses on, but it's the Sony 420 or 4200, something like that, um, you can't get uh, a little a little clicker for it, you know, a little remote control that you can turn it on and off. So there was a big question mark in my mind yesterday about how I was going to move forward um, with showing you myself here on um, 
on YouTube. And uh, after a lot of work, a lot of perseverance, and boy did I persevere. <laughs> My eyes have gone square with that screen. Um, I'm now able to edit. So I can make little clips of myself, put them in the videos, and hopefully longer clips as well. Um, because I'd like to be able to show you what it is I'm doing all the time. So yeah, the camera is now very much part of the tripod and set up to show you a little bit more. Mm. This is the beautiful Pieris. Do you remember the Pieris and the big milk churn that didn't have a bottom and it kept on falling over because it had got too big and heavy for the milk churn? And do you remember how I set it in this bed so the roots of the Pieris could then begin to spread out in the bottomless churn? Well, it's taken beautifully. Look at all this new growth. Look how happy it is. So no more falling over Pieris. And a new addition to this little bed, which was at one point just a wet, sodden mess. But, yeah, gardens evolve. That's what gardens are all about. I'm doing today is spreading gravel. I've got lots of it in here, as you can see. And uh, I'm putting the gravel on the grass paths because they're not too bad this time of year. But when it starts to get wet, you know, as the west of Ireland will do, um, the paths can, be, can get a little bit slippy. So I find that this very fine gravel this stuff here, quite fine, not quite grit though, um, works really well. Yeah. So I've just been, and all I do is I literally just spread it like that, a little bit on the path. Works the treat. I've been tidying up some of the beds here and cutting back. You can see some of the ribs. The ribs has got huge. Well, the thing about the ribs is that you cut it after it flowers. Before that, beautiful seed sets. You know, the seed is lovely for the birds. The little, the little fruits, great for the birds. And hens love them. I remember when I kept hens, they used to go crazy for these little... These little fruits, you can just see them beginning to form up there. Well, of course, look how high the ribs is. It's got to be about 14 or 15 feet high. So, um, yeah, it's actually good to prune. And that way then you make sure that you've got plenty of flowers for next year. Because it flowers on the new growth, you see. Usually, anyway. So, good time to prune the ribes now. And of course you get lots and lots of cuttings. Though this isn't the best time of year for cuttings, but um, you can still try them 
if you do the cutting in a pot and you put it in a very shaded space so it doesn't dry out. But anyway, these cuttings are going to go for towards the shredder, the garden shredder, and they'll be used in my compost toilet. But yeah, the beds are starting to look quite shapely. And I really want to thank those of you who have become patrons of Bealtaine Cottage and the Bealtaine Project. I want to thank you very much because it is providing a little bit of an income for me because as you know I don't um, I don't make any money from my YouTube channel and I prefer to keep it that way. I prefer to keep it free from advertising. Um, so thank you very much if you've become a patron. Thank you. And I will be putting even more stuff up on Patreon. Now I'm almost, I think I'm about over halfway through reading A Cottage and Three Acres on Patreon. And um, I'm going to do a lot more podcasts on there because it's something that I really enjoy doing. So bless you for subscribing to Patreon and for supporting me. You can support Bealtaine Cottage and the work I do across social media by buying any one of my books. That's the first one, A Cottage in Three Acres. That tells the story of how Bealtaine Cottage came into being. There are books, maps, um, a calendar printed each year and bumper stickers. And the link to purchasing any of these can be found below every video. All are printed here in Ireland in my local town and all are posted from Ireland in my local post office.